Hello my youngins, it's Jordan, and I have a lot of stuff that I want to talk about today, and I've tried to do this commentary God knows how many times, I don't know, I'm sure everybody in the neighborhood knows my intro by now, but anyways, the gameplay in the background is from Battleborn, which is a really cool game that you probably have only ever heard about in reference to Overwatch, because it has some similarities, but uh, I got it for $10 on Amazon. This is not sponsored or anything, but you guys should definitely check it out if you're interested. It's a lot of fun. I've been playing it the past week with Wesley, and you might see some more gameplay from it on our channel in a Funny Moments video or whatever. But anyways, on to the topic that I want to talk about, which is YouTube and why we haven't posted in the past week and a half and what our plans are moving forward. Yeah, just a bunch of different stuff. So I feel like I haven't really gotten a chance to talk to you guys and just kind of talk about anything really recently. Just kind of rant in a video because... I'm so focused on, you know, editing the Funny Moments videos and doing all this stuff and really trying to put out consistent content to get us recognition. But anyways, let me let me back up. So this past week, I have been kind of busy with other stuff. I went home. You guys probably don't, uh, well, you wouldn't know. There's no way that you would know. I haven't posted it on anything, but uh, I recently dropped out of school, uh, college, to pursue YouTube full time. Yeah, take a pause. No, I. <laughs> that's not why I dropped out, actually. I just, honestly, I don't like school, and so I'm looking at different stuff right now. I'm trying to figure out other opportunities, but in the meantime, I went home for a week uh, or for a few days while my sister was home to hang out with my family, get some time to do that, and then right after that, my girlfriend's cousin's funeral was. I, I know I phrased that sentence really poorly, but uh, yeah, her cousin had a funeral. Unfortunately, he died, and I was really sad for her, and I edited a video for him, which I don't... I don't even know really what to say about that. It was one of the weirdest things I've ever done is really trying to summarize somebody's life in like 10 minutes in a video with just hundreds of pictures from their childhood and everything that they've ever done just summarized in like 10 minutes, you know? So I was busy doing that. That's part of the reason that I didn't post. But anyways, uh, what I wanted to talk about was the other reasons that I haven't been doing YouTube recently because even with all of that other stuff, I have had time to edit. And I just haven't. And part of that is that I've felt a little overwhelmed with YouTube recently. Uh, the past few months, I've really tried to focus on making this channel the best that it can be and posting consistent content, trying to get better every single time I post a video and figure out what people want to see and edit differently based on feedback and based on analytics and all this stuff. But for the most part, we haven't seen growth based on that. And the reasons for that, I will explain in a little bit. But actually, the first thing that I wanted to say, and I totally screwed up the order of everything I wanted to say, but the first thing I want to say is how meaningful it is to get comments and to get feedback on videos and to, to have the support of you guys, anybody who watches our video, I just want you to know that you mean a lot to us. You mean a lot to me because you may not know it, but like when I see a comment on a video or a like or whatever it is, that is like, it's just a really gratifying feeling to know that what you're doing is being viewed and being appreciated or just being enjoyed. Like knowing that I make anybody laugh, that we make anybody laugh is a really great feeling. And actually every single time that I post a video, I'm usually up like really late at night editing and I'll be, I'll finish the video at like 8 a.m. or something crazy and then I'll upload it and I'll have it posted, you know, for the next day and then I'll wake up really late the next day, obviously, because I stayed up to like 8 a.m. And like the first thing that I look for is like I go on YouTube and I get really excited to see if there's going to be like a red uh, notification. Some of you guys have notifications on. I've seen, some of you guys are fucking crazy, man. I've seen people with like 60 notifications, like please. Just click on those damn videos, man. I I don't even use notifications for videos. Um, speaking of which, if you guys want to use notifications for our videos, you can do that below. Actually, I have no idea. <laughs> I actually don't know how to do notifications. I think you have to go to the channel. Anyways, I'm veering off topic very rapidly. So it's a really cool feeling to see comments on our videos and to see those notifications. That's like one of the most exciting things for me when I post a video, like the most exciting part of the week for me is right after I finish the video, if I think it's a really good video, when I upload it and then when I wake up and see that notification that somebody's commented. Except for recently, when the first comments that we get on videos are by fake ass bitches who come to our channel just to say, hey, oh my God, your channel's so great. You uh, like, they don't even say check out mine. They're like sneaky these days, man. I swear, they'll just be like, really good video better than mine better than my channel or something like that and i'll go to their channel and i'll see they have like hundreds of views because they go to a ton of people's channels 
just to drop those exact same comments. And I go to those people's channels, like the people who comment on their videos, and I see that all of them have gotten the same comment on their video. But anyways, I don't, I don't, I'm not here to talk shit today. I might talk shit a different day. But I think that what's really been bringing me down is that I've been focused so much, like I said, on just trying to improve every single video. And you guys don't see this maybe, but like I go in and I look at analytics and I see exactly where people drop off in the video and when they stop watching. And then I try to adjust the next video and try to see how I can take into account all of the information that I'm getting to make a better or more engaging video next time. So the good example is Battlefield 1 videos. I go in and I see, okay, for example, people tend to stay longer in the beginning if there's like an intro with like a montage where you don't want to know what's going to happen or something like that. Or people seem to not like the face cams maybe. So I take those out and I keep experimenting and doing different things. And in a way, I try to see everything as a challenge on YouTube and making a video, trying to make it better. But at the same time, sometimes you do all of those things and they just don't change anything. Like our Battlefield videos, I, I think that as I've been making them, I've been making them better and trying to change different things and messing around with the music in the background and when I put action stuff and funny stuff and like how much I cut, all this sorts of different stuff. And we get the same average view retention on the videos. And that can be kind of frustrating, especially when I know that those videos will never get ranked high in search or anything like that and a bunch of other stuff that I'm just I'm not going to get into because you guys probably are not that interested and I think maybe it's just a, it's time for me to take a step back for the time being and just adjust my priorities because when I came into this whole YouTube thing well that's a long story when we came in way back then but when I came back for one of the many times that I've returned to YouTube I'm not going anywhere right now but one of those times I made a video when I came back and I said that I was going to post videos that I was passionate about. I wasn't gonna just post videos to post videos. I was gonna really focus not on anything except for enjoying the videos that I'm making and really putting effort into that content. Because even though growing a channel is something that I really care about, the thing that I care about the most is making videos that make me happy and making videos that make you guys happy and building a community. And that's one thing that I think I've gotten away from a little bit recently. And so I would love to hear you guys' feedback on any of my videos or just if you guys want to talk. Like, I, I want to talk to you guys and play with you guys and, and do all of that. Build the community because that's important to me on YouTube is the people that I interact with, the people who I make friends with, and all of that. So drop a comment on this video if you're still watching and all of that good stuff. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're playing. Anything. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. And as for the future of our channel, I'm not going to be changing that much. I'm still going to be trying to post videos on a consistent weekly basis, hopefully two videos a week if I can get to that point. But I'm going to try to really focus on just having fun with it because I do really enjoy making these videos. And I don't want you guys to get the impression that the videos that I've been making are videos that I wasn't passionate about. But I'm going to try to lay off the music a little bit and the background music in those Battlefield 1 videos. I'm going to try to post some different games and stuff that I care about. And I'm also going to try to add some videos that are a little bit different from what we usually post. Which you guys will be seeing on this channel soon. But the bread and butter of our channel is going to stay the same. We're still going to be having funny videos as the majority of our content. And as always, I love to hear feedback. Like, I really, really like to interact with you guys. And one last thing I want to mention is that Wesley and I are trying to get a group of people to play hide and seek in Battlefield 1 with us. And I think that would be really fun. I want to make a video on it. So if you guys are interested and you play Battlefield 1 on Xbox One, Drop a comment, shoot me a message with your gamer tag, and we can get it hooked up. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and you guys should also totally get Battleborn, because this game deserves way more credit than it's gotten. I'm sure there's some stuff I forgot to say, but I just wanted to get a chance to sit down and talk to you guys, get some stuff off my chest. And thank you for all the really awesome support that we've gotten so far on this journey. Just knowing that even a handful of people watch our videos and care about us enough to keep watching our videos is something that I'm really grateful for. So thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a great day. By the way, going back through the video, I realized that I said I a lot instead of we. Obviously, Wesley and I do this channel together, but these were just some of the personal frustrations that I've had recently. And since Wesley and I don't live in the same place yet, I just wanted to make a video talking about some of my experiences. Just something small, but I wanted to mention it. Anyways, now I'm officially out. Peace. I heard you feeling